So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, based on the time zones you all are coming from. So before we start with the session, can you all please give me a quick information if you all can see my screen and hear me loud and clear as well? Wonderful. Thank you so much for the confirmation, everyone. So let's start with the discussion on top of the Erika Meetup community here. Master classes was started back in 2019, and since then we have been closing into more than 35,000 members so far. So in these different master classes, we conduct multiple webinars and live events on different topics, including blockchain, IoT, artificial intelligence, machine learning, front multiple front-end and back-end development technologies. And the best part about these webinars are they are absolutely free of cost, so they are no charging. There are no charges involved here. And these webinars are a great platform for anyone who is looking to get into the industry by learning the technology that is required. And to be a part of this entire group, we can directly click on this option which says join this community. So we'll be notified with the entire schedule that has been planned for the month so that we can schedule our day accordingly. And then we can join these webinars as per the given schedule. Now we have gathered for our discussion on top of Salesforce. So how exactly Salesforce is structured. And then we are going to discuss on how we can work with Salesforce Lighting Component as per the requirement. So first of all, we are going to discuss on what exactly Salesforce is. And then we are going to talk about the Salesforce versus Lightning component. And then we are going to talk, to talk about the features of Salesforce Lightning, the usage of Salesforce Lightning, along with a small hands-on towards the end. All right, so if you talk about Salesforce, so what exactly Salesforce is? So Salesforce is a cloud-based software company which provides customer relationship management service, as in CRM. So CRM was, we can say, introduced by Salesforce itself to allow different teams in making sure that they are able to handle the leads coming in through the different channels and make sure that each and every, the status of each and every lead could be could be well we can say recorded, we can, can be well documented. And again, if we have multiple sales professionals working on the same account, then they can all know, okay, what the current status of a given lead is and which one to pursue, which one to simply consider as, consider as non-productive so that the entire strategy, the entire operations can be planned accordingly. So this is the advantage that was given to different sales team all across the globe by using this concept of CRM, which was hugely popular and again, still it is the biggest market market shareholder for the CRM solutions. So now, although we have multiple other solutions offered and as a part of the competitor, but again, since still Salesforce has been the global leader in terms of CRM solutions along with other domains as well. And Salesforce was the first company to introduce the concept of cloud computing in the world, to the world back in 1999. All right, so Salesforce is used for, again, as a part of the marketing cloud, it is also used for sales, for services, for the community cloud versions as well, for the analytics, and for the app as well. So now Salesforce has multiple services that are integrated within different solutions. So there are multiple third-party integrations available here. We can use the SDKs available to go ahead and integrate that within applications. And now we have a good scope of enhancing the functionality for any applications by integrating it with Salesforce. So what exactly a Salesforce Lightning method is? So Salesforce Lightning is the new user interface by Salesforce. It comes with convenient new design, new productivity, and again, move with better functionality as well. So here we have three core components on which this design has been structured. So here we have the lightning design, then we have lightning framework, and then we have lightning experience. So if you talk about lightning experience, and this is a new user interface for Salesforce, it brings in modern appearances and functionality to the Salesforce, Salesforce platform. And then we have lightning framework, where it's like a UI framework for developing web applications, and also for the mobile and desktop services, and then we have a design service and then we have a design service. So design service is like, it's like a CSS based framework 
that is simply useful for developers and designers to create user interfaces based on the light force on the lightning principle altogether now if you talk about the classic ui or the classic ui versus the lightning ui here so this is this had been the classic version that you already are familiar with and then it was recently updated into the lightning ui which is more like an advanced version offered by salesforce so it has a better view it uh, simply allows us to manage the entire account and that too in a much better way with a better view altogether and this is what is offered as the advantage for the users especially for those who was users those new users because they are going to get a better version and also for the existing customers because they are also moved to the new version offered by salesforce so there are multiple features that are added here in the lightning edition so here we have a efficient navigation and the ability to switch between different custom apps they have been given and again here now we have new record layouts that focuses on what exactly we can do instead of what we can view and then here we have turbocharged list views that can easily be filtered and visualized and then we have the quick access to all the tools like we have notes and recent items in the utility part and here we have beautiful here we can design beautiful dashboards with components that span both columns and rows and here we have a sleek report views that we can filter quickly to see the data that's most important to us so a better integration and a better security is also one of the key features offered by the new version released by salesforce so if we talk about the main different version as you can see here now this is a better view where we can even include the entire kanban so if you are familiar with jira with entire agile and scrum tools so you are mostly familiar with this term before so it's like a visual summary of all the records here and we can move the opportunities according to our priority which will help us focus on the important task first and that's how we can ensure that we do get the best out of the available platforms by using the current method and then we have the lightning app builder so this builder is a point and click tool that makes it easier to create the custom pages with the lightning app builder we can build single page apps dashboard style applications such as apps to track the top sales prospects or any key leads for the quarter and here we have custom record pages for our objects that are tailored to the need of the users and we also have the custom home pages which contain the components and features that the users they use the most and then we have lightning design system so developers can use this to create cutting edge robust applications it is flexible scalable and open source design system that is aimed to assist developers in delivering the best possible user experience now based on the lightning adoption survey users who switched to lightning experience they reported a 41 percent increase in product and being productive and again 22 percent increase in win rates 23 percent faster time to close the deals 40 percent increase in collaboration and 44 percent increase in conversion rate as well and if you talk about the usage of salesforce lightning so the lightning framework allows developers to be more productive it is fast to create custom lightning components using the building blocks included in the framework and the salesforce lightning system system provides a complete selling library so developers they don't have to write their own html or css and lightning data service simply allows you to access to code in the reusable components and thus it simply eliminates the need to write controller code so salesforce admin can start rolling out the lightning experience for the team and with the lightning framework admins can create and customize pages faster without having to start from scratch each and admins can also add remove and rearrange components on the home page or record pages with drag and drop ease and for sales user lightning experience is an action oriented environment that promotes the efficient sales workflow and its pages focuses on the most important information first and then the workspaces make our sales process clear which is supported by best practices at every step and it has separate tabs for details related information and collaboration which brings order to pages and reduce the amount of scrolling to find things and then for a service user we have now with server with service cloud for lightning experience the service team can solve user queries faster so the lightning service console is a high productivity workspace 
with a single view of every customer. So service agents, they don't have to waste time toggling between multiple apps. And the console guides the teams or service team through the case management process, which makes every step faster to complete with the efficiency. So now let's see into now let's see how exactly we can work with these different components by navigating to the hands-on section. Let's log into our Salesforce account. Just a moment. Just a minute, everyone. We are just trying to set up in terms of our password. If you are using this for the first time, we can simply fill in the information that we have. And once you once you fill in the information, we would be taken to the free trial dashboard here. So let's open this up. So as you can see, this is the updated version that we have here in terms of the lightning dashboard. So we can see here we have the specific we can see segregation done for different accounts here. We can see currently we are having the access dashboard. So here we are going to go ahead and create the leads as and when required. So whenever we are going to create a lead here, we can see here, first of all, we have the list of all accounts available. We can click on accounts. So accounts are what? Accounts are basically those different leads that we are going that are currently a good prospect for us. So we can go ahead and create a new account as well. So for example, we want to import the entire account list that we have stored as a backup. We can click on import and then we can import our own data set that we want to import here. So here, for example, here we have accounts and contacts. So if you want to add new records, we can add new record. We can define how exactly we want to map it. So if we, if we have the access to a Gmail, CSV, or Outlook CSV, or a CSV file available by default, then we can import that. If you want to create a new account altogether, so for the new account, we can go back, and here we can click on New. So here we can enter the account details. For example, suppose here we have John Doe. And here we can define the parent account. And then, for example, here we want to find this one as type as what? So this is a competitor or a customer. We can find the customer. In case the customer has a website, we can add it. And here we can choose which industry the customer is currently interested in. Suppose here we have an energy we can choose energy we can define billing address shipping address in case we have these details which can be updated later on click on save so now a new account has been created and we can see all the other options related related to this account here in terms of contracts cases notes the campaign influence the opportunities the related contacts so again everything has been automatically added because these are the core features offered under accounts so you can see here we have opportunities. If you want to add a new opportunity, you can click on new and here we have the opportunity name. For example, here we have upsell or we can say a new service that we have created. So here we can define the account name that you want to add and then we can define the primary campaign source in case you already have a campaign that was up and running. So that, for example, there was a social media campaign or a print campaign, what is the cost of the campaign that we are that we had so we can and then we, so we could have to really define that campaign in case that was already available or we can make use of the existing one as well so since we since this is a new account for us so we don't have any existing account parameters defined as of now and here we can define whatever details you want to add for the Current account. If in case we the discovery has been completed or we want to add it as a new delivery altogether, we can simply define it as and when required. Click on save. So here we can choose the opportunity date. Suppose this was on first of August. Action stage here. Click on save. So this is going to simply add one of the opportunities that we have in terms, which is currently in the negotiation stage. And we can keep on updating the value for the same in the same, which may be in the same negotiation stage, or we may, or which may have been moved to a different stage altogether. So we can simply keep on defining the values as and when required. And whenever we are going to have any update, we can move them so that we can keep a track and we can always filter them out. So based on the requirement, we can simply filter them out, which is currently in which stage. And we can have a clear current sight of the of the current status of each and every account that we are managing.
So after this, we have leads. So leads are like, for, for example, we are running a website, we are running a mobile application. So we are going to receive multiple leads, right? So again, many leads are going to be completely broken and many leads are going to be, we can say useful for us as well. So here we can create, now here we can create a complete lead stream through which we can have a control, so which we can check what kind of leads we are going to have. And again, if these leads are of any use to us or not. So here we can define, for example, this is a qualified lead. We can define the situation, the salutation here, suppose as Miss. And here we can define the name, suppose as Jane, as Jane Doe. And then we can define the website, the current configuration that we have here, the ratings. For example, this is a hot lead. Hot lead means this is we can say this is currently having the highest possibility of getting converted. So this is what we define as a part of the hot lead here. A cold lead means, for example, we have found the lead ourselves. And that is, for example, we, this is a part of a cold call lead here. Then again, this is going to be a part of cold lead that needs to be nurtured before we can convert this into a good, we can say, good possibility. And here we can define the company. For example, I suppose if this is for a specific company here, we can define the company name. And here we can click on save. As you can see, a lead has been created. So this has already been qualified. So again, if this is in any other stage, then we would be notified so that we can take up actions. And again, we can keep a track. Okay, which lead is qualified, which lead is this is not. We can it has not been qualified yet so we can know okay which what is the actual funnel that size that we are currently working on and again if it is fruitful to work on the same funnel or not and then we have the section for opportunities so these are the recently viewed so for example here we can go ahead and see which all opportunities are currently hot which one needs to be worked upon so we have a complete list available with us and here we can have a complete calendar for keeping a track of the activities that we have planned. So we can navigate a calendar based on the leads, based on the follow-ups that we had defined. So we can have a complete control. A big thank you to you all for joining everyone and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.